And tonight we're going to talk about about labor. Labor. A lot of people uh, understand that uh, labor is a consequence of the of the curse because you're, and you're going to be surprised because for all eternity there is going to be a work and he said uh, Jesus said that uh, his father is works all the time and we're going to work all the time as well and the uh, the labor uh, has given to 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 the human being just before the the original sin and what happened in the original sin uh, the original sin uh, it came the 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 difficulties, the problems, the the diseases. So it just it just got complicated. Uh, it gets even worse. But the labor uh, uh, has always existed. And it's gonna exist. You know, it's just part of life. Jesus, uh, God hasn't created in the human being to be a bum. You know, a lazy bloke. He he doesn't under uh, he doesn't stop and this uh, God has given this energy for the the human being uh, for uh, for the human uh, for the human being to work you know like and I know there are some men and also women that they they see labor you know like as a bad thing but the majority the majority knows that you need to work. And of course, if, if you have the the lucky uh, the luck, you know, like uh, if you have been uh, if you have been blessed, you know, like with uh, uh, by, by getting married, you know, like with uh, an old man or an old woman with lots of money, so maybe you are going to have a possibility, you know, like to get uh, more money, you know, without working, and God. God says that if you don't work, you're not going to you're not going to get food and you're gonna die. So, uh, I have just translated. You know, that's original. You know, like that's my translation. And you're going to get starved. You're going to be starved. And why did He create us like that? Because labor is important for us. It's just very important. And here at the church, it's not that different because we have the same elements that labor had to be important in society and also in the family. It's going to be as important as it is in our uh, our lives. And, you know, like our self, the self-image of a kid, if you have a kid, it's important for you to know. And this self-image is 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 built upon, you know, like the work. So he needs to wash. Uh, he uh, he helps to cook. He if he has done this this kind of things, then he has a self-image, a uh, way superior than you know the ones that have a made to do the, uh, to do the work for themselves uh, for themselves. And second, the ones who participate in the labor with uh, with the chores, he has care with his family. He values his family, his or her family. Uh, and that's incredible because it makes them uh, less vulnerable, you know, like for a, uh, less vulnerable to addictions, for example. I, I believe it 80%, you know, like the... The ones who do the chores at home, they are not going to, they are not going to take drugs, and also they are not going to enter with wrong groups. And he put, you know, like the labor to be a good thing, and everybody in the family needs uh, need to work. And unfortunately, uh, the the reason was good. I have to say that, and it was some centuries ago they put some laws and laws against the 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 young labor but everybody who who's uh, who who's worthy you know like all the millionaires the presidents they have start they started as young people uh, when they were young and i told haif about that and guys god has created the the labor as as he, uh, is an important uh, thing for him, uh, the human being needs to work and 
I'm going to tell you uh, something now if you're about to uh, retire. To, and of course, if, if you retire, you're just going to enjoy life, right? He's going to watch television, he's going to eat, he's going to die in five to seven years. I'm going to repeat that. You're going to die. Because God hasn't created to, uh, the human being to be lazy, you know, like, so if you get bored, you're going to get into depression and it affects the health, the body. And even if you are retired, you have to get something, uh, you have to do something because you need the labor for your health. And God doesn't think differently about the church because uh, the Bible says in lots of places, it's uh, the, the Bible is the body of Jesus on earth. And you have to remember that, okay, so your mind works like that. The, the house is dirty inside your brain. How, uh, the house is dirty, I need to clean. Is the brain gonna, uh, going to, to clean? No, it's a body. And the body executes what the mind thinks. And the Bible says that Jesus is the mind of the, ch uh, mind of the church and we're the body and we execute what Jesus wants us to do. And God has given this privilege because we wanted to be integrated. Uh, we have to be one uh, with our uh, with our mental and spiritual health because he, he wants that interaction with uh, with all the the with all the, the the people here. And in Ephesians verse four uh, that we read two weeks ago. God uh, says here that's, that he's, uh, of course, he put some pastors and and uh, trainees to, pre uh, to, to, to teach the, the, the kids. He says here in verse 12, so this way to, pre uh, to prepare the saints for the ministries. So, uh, who are the saints? So, uh, point to the saint next to you. Uh, my neighbor, you know, some years ago, he said, uh, he said this to annoy me. You're a saint, you're a saint. And then, to prove that I'm, I was not a saint, I threw rocks uh, uh, into his face. And I understand now that I'm a saint and I'm not going to have, uh, I'm not going to hell. And when I invited uh, Lord to be the the the, um, the savior and also the the, uh, the ruler of my life, the Gal uh, Galatians four says that the spirit, uh, uh, his spirit came into our body, you know, and our spirit uh, has three parts. You have your spirit, you have your soul, and you have your body. Your spirit. It's the one who makes you live. So uh, it's the breath of life that God has given us. And this spirit resides on the blood. Maybe it's, uh, may, in my opinion, it's related to DNA. And this spirit uh, was uh, was created to receive and be bo uh, being a bond with the the with the, 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 the Spirit of God. And it was made that a lot of uh, spirits can possess you because God uh, knew that the Spirit of Jesus was going to uh, live in our bodies. And, you know, like in some experiences, uh, some evil spirits, you know, like can be... Uh, can be driven away, you know, like with some praying, etc. You can expel these evil spirits, but Jesus remembers, uh, says that uh, when he enters, he's not going to leave you. It's going to be there for all the time. You may make some mistakes. He's going to... Uh, you can be arrested. Uh, 
He can, uh, he can, he can, you know, like, he, he can make you be better, right? So, and then you have to remember that you're going to be perfect. You are perfect from now on because you have been saved, of course, if you have uh, left, uh, if you have decided to give your life to Jesus. And remember, you're a saint, and then look to the person next to you. So, hey, saint, saint, you're a saint. Saint, saint, you're a saint. You're, you're such a saint. Santana, big saint. So, do not be, you know, like, too uh, stuck up right now, because there are two parts who, has, who are very rotten. Your soul, you know, what happens, you know, like, uh, in your mind, right? Your knowledge. So, there are lots of bad things going on. And the ones that are uh, that are, that aren't naughty, you know, they they want to hide what's rotten inside. So, and we have lots of things that needs to be changed. And our body, you know, like we we don't have to say about that. It gets rotten every single year with age. I'm expecting the vultures, you know, like to you know, like to fly around me because I, I I'm I'm pretty old right now. And these parts, they're going to change, and this part of our soul is going to be transformed according to uh, to our knowledge of the gospel. And then they're going to be, they're going to match, you know, like the spirit that we have with the spirit of God, and we're going to be saints. And there will be a, a, an immortal body, right? We're going to receive, they're not going to get any disease, it's going to be perfect. And it's going to last long as as long as the soul, and and I'm giving this uh, this class because you're going to be saints like this. But you remember, you have sins because there are some people that says that uh, that they don't have any sins. No, everybody has uh, everybody has sins. And to equip his people for works of service. So point at the. At the saint, so the body of Christ may be built up until we all reach into the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature, right? The works of service, you know, like is going to be the the, the is going to be the body, right? Who is going to execute the the actions that comes from the mind, and the mind is Jesus, and you know the saints are going to execute this, so that the body of Christ may be built up. And I told you guys, you know, two, uh, two weeks ago, maybe, I, I really don't know, that the uh, that the, the work of our Christ, that our mission is, uh, is two parts. Uh, and in the first part, you know, like in the first period, people didn't understand. I didn't, I didn't remember. I was, I was pretty sad because uh, nobody understood. Uh, nobody remembered, and I was pretty sad because of that. You know, like because I probably didn't give uh, didn't give a very good class. And the Bible says that our mission has two parts. It's a two-way mission. For the gospel, wow, there are lots of good uh, students here. So for the gospel, we're going to. You're going to pray, uh, to pray the gospel, of course, that you, you are not going to go to hell. It's not necessary to go to the, uh, to go to, to hell. They, they can live forever without any diseases, without any problems. What a wonderful thing. So they're going to enjoy heaven, deserve the heaven, the whole city, the paradise, this, uh, the, the, uh, the garden of paradise. And eschatology is uh, is at Senib, so just have to come here. But the second one, do you remember the second mission? Taking care of our of our uh, of our brothers and sisters, right? So this period is awesome, you know. Like so, maybe you know uh, the the first period are just full of uh, full of food, you know. Like and then. 
they are not thinking well. And you have to be reasonable. You have to think about that because God uh, didn't raise us. They didn't create. Uh, he didn't create us to be lazy ones. He he created you full of energy, full of uh, ex, uh, full of energy with power, with strength to do the ex, uh, to do your labor. And today, you're going to find you know a ministry, you know like. Uh, here tonight, you're not going to leave unless you you find a job for you, because this one is very important for your self-image, so you can be part, uh, you can feel as part of the body, to have more as uh, to to have more responsibility in your life with your grow with your growth. This is very important for you. And it's important for you that one day you're going to get rewards that are going to come for the ones who who worked here. So you can, uh, you're going to listen to to Jesus talking about that. You you have worked a lot, so I'm going to give you as much because if you if you were faithful in the, in the minimum, you're going to be faithful in the ma in the maximum too. And, you know, like our eternal life has begun here. And you're going to enter in this in this part uh, with lots of rewards because you're going to work here. We have this opportunity to, to work. And here on the Bible, we have, we have some parts that. So we have 1 Corinthians 4 again. Romans 12, 1 Corinthians 12, Ephesians 4, and 1 Peter 4. We're, you're going to read, you know, like at home, but you're going to see that there are four chapters that are connected to the same uh, subject. And it says about the necessity, the need for you to, uh, for us to work and for for this objective, for this, uh, for this aim, uh, God has given some gifts. Some gifts. Cole Bryant, who has died uh, today, you know, he and his uh, his uh, daughter, he, God gave him the, uh, the, the, the skill to, to play basketball. You know, like, I wish I had this opportunity, you know. But he... Uh, God has given us, uh, ha hasn't given me, you know, this ability. So this is not a gift. That's not my gift. And God gave this, uh, these gifts so we can work, you know, like here inside the church. And God has given these gifts, you know, like special gifts uh, that the Bible says in these four chapters so you can work for God and then the church may grow for you to grow too so you can be happy and we're going to see today 10 uh, I don't know uh, how to say that 10 facts, 10 truths that God says about that, that serving because God has given these gifts and God wants us to serve, you know, like with our gifts. And I uh, paid attention to you that you, you, man, have a good voice. I don't know if you or your son has a good voice, but this marvelous voice, you have a, a you, you got a marvelous voice. So, and this tells me because, you know, like sometimes I listen to some people who doesn't, uh, some people who don't sing well. You know, but he, he sits next to me sometimes. Uh, no, it's not Elias. Not Elias sings well. Uh, I'm telling you, you know, like, because, you know, neither of the, of the guys who sit next to me, uh, the, who sit next to me, are here. And if you sing, like, horrible like that, Do not go to the choir tonight. Do not go to the voc uh, to the vocal. Maybe to uh, new alert, because this one, uh, this voice is going to scare lots of people. You don't need a gun for that, for example. 
So, and I want you to find yourself, you know, like, you need to, uh, you need to see your gift and then you're going to work to find out, you know, like, who, whose ministry is, uh, is good for you. And we are, uh, we are a body. We are a body. We are different parts of the body. And he's going to talk about uh, the ones. So it doesn't matter. In Romans 4, uh, 12, Romans 12, 3, it says here that we need, uh, let me see, let me find it here. It says here, for by the grace you given me, I for the grace and the gift I, uh, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought. Or, or, or it says that, so do not, uh, do not be stuck up. You need to know what to do better and then you're going to serve but do not feel yourself overconfident. You know, so overconfident. No, that's not the way. And remember that God has given you. He didn't give another person but you. And everything that we have, you know, it's grace only. So, and God says that uh, that he gave, uh, God has given some people, you know, the, the, the gift to gain money. And of course, if you spend all the money that you're going, uh, you're having now because of the, the gift that God has given you, you are going to, you're going to, be, uh, you're going to be in the end, you know, like uh, you're going to be charged for that. You need to help, you know, like with the money you are going, you're getting, you know, like you need to help the, the, you have to need the church, you know, like, so, and if you have, for example, the gift to sing, for example, so do not, uh, do not be overconfident because people have different gifts. So, and I, I, I totally understand, you know, like that. Uh, even though you can uh, you can do things, you cannot do things on your own. You need some people because we're part of the body. And so it says here, uh, don't think like, don't be overconfident just because I have a gift, right? So even though you have a good voice, okay, whatever. But people, there are people here who can you know, like uh, a perfect house cleaning. And this is as important as the one who is singing. And um, there are some cases, for example, when people, you know, like that, uh, visitors that are going to come here, uh, that came here, you know, and just, for example, sit on a bubble gum, for example, that wasn't, uh, that wasn't cleaned. He's not going to show up anymore. So, for example, if there are no people here to help parking lot, so if there are, they are not going to enter here because there are no people helping. For example, the guys who are are here, you know, like during the the worship, trying to diminish the, the interference, you know, like with gossips and talking. So God has given, you know, these gifts for lots of people. And, and you know, like, do you know what a, a gift, a host gift is? Because there are people who are very rude, you know, like... So if... So people, uh, people really need to be caring, you know, like when they they host, you know, people, and they invite people home, uh, to your house. So here you need to be careful, you know, you, you can't you can talk too much, you know. The worship is is on right now, so this is a gift, you know, like so. There are some people here, you know, like that. I I don't. I don't want him to serve here, you know, like, because 
He says, oh my God, you have people offended me. So I didn't, uh, so it's, it's not the job for you. So uh, there are some people who are very resilient, you know, like, and then there are a lot of, uh, there are a lot of friends, uh, there are a lot of friends who became friends just because, you know, like they, they have, uh, they have met, you know, like this, these people who were very resilient, you know, and then even though they treated, uh, they mistreated, you know, like the hosts, you know, like they, they became friends. I have lots of stories about that. Once there was a, once there was a, 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 a sister, you know, like who didn't park uh, correctly, you know, like, and I don't have this gift, you know, like, uh, I, I'm not patient, you know, like, so the sister was complaining, you know, like, because she didn't park, you know, the, uh, correctly, and then uh, he asked the security to help him, you know, like, to control the situation. And then uh, the sister said herself, I was very ignorant at that time. So uh, this church has has just changed my life. Uh, I had a car and a driver's license, and I felt the, the queen. And second... You may, uh, uh, God says that you have to work you know, like in, a, in a field that it's up to, uh, that's yours. You know, like so. Somebody is going to tell you that, hey, you, you, you have, your voice is very well tuned, so why don't you sing? God's telling you maybe, you know, like through this person that you need to, you need to, to go to the choir. Oh, you're organized, so go to uh, go to the administration, you know, like, so you draw perfectly. So go to some ministries where there are lots of paintings and art because we have, uh, we need this material for our classes, and then you try, and then in 2020, you're going to try it. And at the end of the year, so if you discover that it was a sacrifice, you, you weren't, you ha you weren't have a good, uh, you didn't have a good time there. So the next year, you're going to go to another, you know, ministry. So, and maybe you know, like during if this year, in the end of the year, uh, your leader said, "Oh, it was pretty good to have you, uh, you by our side." So you understood the message, right? And then they're going to understand. Uh, they're going to start praying, you know, for you to find another ministry. So don't worry about that. So and God wants you to uh, to to work with your uh, in your field of expertise. And it says in First Corinthians, verse twelve, uh, chapter twelve, he emphasizes that there are lots of different gifts, and of course we have lots of ministries because. He, there are different levels of energy and impact. And because of that, there are people who elaborate good classes, but they can't give the class in a way to, cap uh, to captivate the audience. It's another thing. And this is important. There are lots of people who prepare classes, and they uh, there are other people who give classes. And, and we are only one body. We value each other. And third, okay, now, for if it, God gives, you know, like different gifts, we just need to, fi uh, to find out. And for, uh, the fourth truth is everything that we do is for the well-being of the church. So it's not for you to uh, to be recognized by that. So so you can feel yourself like uh, on top of the world. So it's not necessary, you know. Like it's just for you to. Uh, you don't need any advantage. It's for the 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 well-being of the church. And when I was a kid. Sometimes we had that brother, you know, that arrived. He was 
pretty bad. He didn't know how to sing. He does. He wasn't tuned. He, he, he you know, like he wasn't prepared for the the, the choir. And maybe it was the the beginning of the hip hop because you know, like it was pretty bad. Uh, and you know, at the end of the the song, you know, like there there weren't too many songs, but at, at the end of the song, so uh, uh, there was a little church who who want uh, who wants to sing, you know, like, and then that guy came and then he sang. Nah, nah, nah. The God, the Savior. <clears throat> you think like that. Uh, it hurt the year. And uh, I asked the pastor, you know, like, uh, you know, like, I. Uh, I really don't know why you let him sing, because he sings, you know, like only. So, so may may he sing, you know, like alone, you know, like with doors closed and everybody left. No, we we do that for him. And I said, what? Isn't it good? It doesn't. It sounds good because we did for him. So, but I know, but it doesn't need to be for his own good. He needs to be for the church's good. It's, it's not, not for only one person. And the other ones are going to only watch him or her. And the fifth truth. In 1 Corinthians 12, it says here that remembers that everyone is important. Everyone is important. We need to understand that. And we have, we have to avoid, you know, like uh, some separations, you know, like in the church so so people can get overconfident. So everybody is important here at the church and people who does, doesn't want to you any sieges. So uh, we, 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 de uh, we, de uh, we depend on each other. So says to the person next to you, you are important, your work is important. So don't be lazy. Oh, come on, work, work, work. Everybody needs work. Everybody needs work. Sixth truth, Ephesians 4, verse 7. Everybody was included. It's very... Uh, everybody was included in this project of God. Everybody. Everybody. God wants everybody. What's the blessing of our church? We have 10,000 members and 7,000 people work. Understand that. And I want three, the 3,000 to understand, uh, to, to do at least the offerings. And we, our aim, our objective is 100%. And every, every, everywhere I travel, I talk to pastors and they always ask, so, man, why there are so many volunteers in your church? How can you deal with that? How can you do that? Guys, this is not this is on the Bible. It's in the Bible. They understand that it's, it's, it's necessary for them. It's for everybody. And that's the reason we have ministries for people who are working, uh, who are entering right now, for the people who are very old here. There, there are ministries for, uh, for all of them. For the young ones, for the old ones. Seventh. The seventh is Ephesians 4 as well. It says the Bible is on the verse 12. The, the, the aim is for the, the church to, to grow in size, in maturity and quality. So the, the church needs to grow. And all, all the ministries, uh, they, they have this focus for the, the church, for help, uh, for helping the church to grow. Number eight, in First Peter, verse four, it says, "Our work is to use our gifts and remember 
the two parts, pray the gospel and take care of each other. And it says here, uh, use these gifts to help your 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 brothers and sisters. So it he has given you this these gifts for you to help them. And then the church is going to get more united because you're going to to serve your your brother and sister with loyalty. And the ninth truth, it's all for uh, for uh, to worship God. It's not to worship uh, the pastor, the church, for uh, to worship the 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 singer, you know, like the teacher. No, it's not. It's to worship Jesus. All our service, our labor is going to be for God. And finally, at verse 8, at 1 Peter 4, everything you do, do with love and care. Love for Jesus. And in Colossians uh, 3, 23, it says, oh, whatever you do, do it with all your heart, energy, with love, because you're serving God, but not man. And when we work a lot, and sometimes we, man, I, I'm working a lot, uh, a lot more than the other, one, the other one there. I'm killing myself just because of the ministry. Just for the ministry to work. And then I get bored, annoyed, because I forgot that I'm working for God. And if I'm working for God, it doesn't matter what to do or do not. If you do not, God's going to give to another person. And your reward is going to be mine. Oh, come on. No, I'm not going to let it. And God, uh, you need to, uh, to remember that you're not you're not doing for leaders or pastors. You are doing for God. You are doing everything in this 2020. He is the reason. He's the 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 reason why I'm working. Well, I'm going to end here because we have to find jobs, right? Around here. Pastor Leandro, we're going to sing. Ah, ah okay. I'm, I'm going to say a story. Uh, Pastor Leandro wanted to uh, uh, listen to the story. He, he liked the story. And I didn't have time, but I'm going to tell you. At the cathedrals, in a cathedral in Europe, there were, you know, like two organs. The tube organs, you know, like uh, with a keyboard. Um, it was, uh, it was, there was a compressor, you know, like that had a, that had a, a crank that it had to, to roll uh, to work. And then the cathedrals, uh, brought lots of important uh, players, organ players. There was a guy here, you know, very famous, Von Von Von. He's going to play uh, lots of beautiful songs. And then he started playing, you know, but the guy who who used the, 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 the crank, you know, like, so uh, people didn't recognize that I am doing the, 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 the best part here, you know, because he, if I don't uh, roll the crank, so uh, one day he got tired because that, and then the guy, uh, the, guy uh, the, the host introduced, you know, like uh, the player went there and uh, there was uh, there was a sign, you know, who stomped the feet, you know, like so the guy would start the crank. He started playing, and there was no sound. And then he stomped again, you know, louder, no sound. And then he, the third time, he, he tried to stomp again. And then at that day, everybody knew that. Uh, behind, you know, like that player that without without the guy, you know, like to play uh, to play the crank manually. 
he's going uh, uh, the the player is not going to be successful so the church is the same so you're important even though you are there you know like playing the crank